The idea is quite simple. Let a child learn mathematics by speaking in mathematics about things that really matter to him. So at MIT, we've given computers the power to turn motors, to make sounds, to draw pictures. And we've found ways of giving children the power to control the computer. So the child can make the computer do anything that he can describe in a suitable mathematical language by typing on a keyboard like this. And that's what um, P1 sounds like. You can type P2. That's P2 and P3. A computer-controlled turtle is made to draw and dance by programs so simple that all children invent them in the first days of the course. Thus the child acquires a taste for math power that grows and grows as his projects become more original, more complex, and more varied. So you have like the um, first one, then the second one, then the third one, then the first one again for the ending. Okay. Now they'll put their little tunes together to make a bigger one. I get into bugs like this and it'll um, when it was doing it in his mind the little turtle it's the little triangle thing um, was on an angle so it drew the picture on on an angle so now I'll go back and have it draw it in its mind again while it's in the right position and so the child doesn't have to be told by a teacher whether he's right or wrong he can see for himself whether it works. And that's what science and knowledge is about. The super procedure is named fancy. And then you have an input, which means you can vary the size. Now I'm going to make it 100. Right now, it's doing a procedure called top. And each one of those little fins is called fin. And that's another sub procedure in top. Now it's doing inside. There are identifiable techniques for working on a problem. One of these is known by these children as writing procedures as sub-procedures. Inside and top are the two main sub-procedures. And the other one, the tail is made out of odds and ends, just put, just put together. The technique's really well known. Subdivide the problem, split the difficulties, Make a procedure out of sub-procedures, make a whole out of parts, understand each separately. Everybody knows that, but they don't do it. Now, it's moving across the stream the way I um, told you it did it before. But this time, this is like the way I taught myself to get it across the screen. It's the first time I d had done it. And so, the way I had the little one to go is, every time it moves up a little, it subtracts a number a little bit of a number and then until it it's a small number and when it's a certain number I tell it that it should stop. Martha's getting mathematical knowledge in a meaningful context for use now. It just told me I can't move off the screen. When I was at school they told me to learn long division because I would need it when I grew up and I think I knew it was a lie and the effect was to make me despise the teachers a little more. Now it's drawing the gill, a sub-procedure. Now the bottom of the fish. Stephen is using the ideas of angle, of sub-procedure, of arc and of circle in a confident, purposeful way. The tail, the triangle part is made out of a procedure called try one. First, you've got to do right 60, and then forward 50, back 50, left 60, forward 50, back 50, left 60, forward 50, back 50, and so on and so forth. 
Now it's doing a fern. That's a radius of 300 and a um, arc of 90. I made a big radius. And then I went sector left, which will go right over it and bring it back. And then I made a smaller radius of the same arc. And then it would do that again. And then an even smaller one, and it would do that again. And that's how I got the fern. There we are. There's the finished picture. I made a big song, and I used that for part of it. And then I made an accompaniment with it, with the, the drum. And that's, um... kids told me that's a squirrel. And I think there was a new mathematical word that was born there that's going to stick. I'd call that real discovery. <laughs>